All right, so I'm going to quickly talk about how to get a cell inside a, a workbook to have the name of the tab that it's on here. So pick five down here, and it's pick five up here, and then how to make that uh, change when you update this. And so right now in A1, I've got I've just typed it out. Uh, there is a formula that will do this automatically. So if we come over here to let's see where we're at right here. Dave Bruns at Excel Jet got a great guide and he's got the formula right here and uh, so he's got three uh, formulas in here the mid cell and a find so I'm going to walk through those step by step and sort of show uh, what's behind this so the for first function here is the cell function and so all we're going to do is simply type in cell and we're going to do um, file name right here and then uh, we've got a1 here but it could be any cell inside of the sheet so I'm gonna put a1 and what that returns is the directory of the file so this is where it's saved to on our computer and then right after that is the name of the workbook in brackets and then following that is the name of the sheet so with the find function down here what it does is this goes and you tell it a character and it'll go and tell you uh, and then you tell it where to look and it'll go and tell you um, what character placement inside of the uh, address that symbol exists so if we were to find capital C and we wanted it to tell us what character number it's located at in this address we do find C and then this right here and tells us that it's located in the first uh, character placement and so what we want to do is we want to only return this alligator down here so we want to go and find this little end bracket symbol and then once we find that character placement we want to go one over all right so I'm gonna come up here and change this to the, the ending bracket there it tells us that's 63rd, and then we're going to add one to the end of that, and 64. All right, and then the mid is what's going to bring this together and, and give us this just this alligator portion. So come out here and type in mid. Where do we want it to look? We want it to look in this this address right here, cell. We want it to start right here at A. So we're going to say 64, and then 255 appears to be just some generic number. Um, so uh, we're going to put that there. And then we have alligator. So I'm going to come back over here to this sheet and I'm going to post that formula right here in A1. And we see we have pick five there. And if we come down here and change this, it'll update that automatically. Now, one last thing I want to show is if we wanted to do, so what I want to do is I want to add on these little colon on the end. So to do that, I'm going to come up here and I'm going to do two air quotes and then an ampersand on each each end. Ampersand, two air quotes. And right between these air quotes, we can type whatever we want. So if we want to do that, that right there, that returns those. If we wanted to do something before, like this is, we could put that right there. 